Flame here, and welcome back to another death battle reaction. Today, we're reacting to the new, the newest one that just dropped, Galactus versus Unicron. Transformers versus Marvel Comics. I know who Galactus is. I don't know who Unicron is. Like my knowledge of Transformers is super small. I just know like Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Megatron. There's a dinosaur. Is there is there a Star Scream or something like that? Possibly. I don't know nothing. So let's get started. Ooh. 3D. Let's go. Galactus, devourer of worlds. World. And Unicron, almighty mm. chaos bringer. Ooh, it has like right bat wings that look like skeleton. For. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who <laughs> Why does that Galactus look goofy? Boomstick. Mm, red skull of evil. <laughs> It's three and a half beers too early for that kind of question, Wiz. No, seriously. It's Wait, the wolf is that, that hunts the hare what? evil? What about the bear that kills the wolf? We the bear bears. The bear? Hey, back kick. Is that Bop. evil or nature? Perhaps this question was on Gallon of Ta's mind as he hurtled toward the. To be honest, I have no who, like I'm don't sure I have no knowledge of Galactus' origin. I just know Galactus is big ass paradise. The most advanced civilization the and eat worlds. Too bad the universe and is part of the Fantastic Four story. Mainly, I think he's mainly associated with the Fantastic Four. Ignominiously perished and decided to die gloriously on his own terms. Just like great grandfather. Why to blow it up? Crazy old coot. But instead of being vaporized on contact like great grandpappy boomstick, Gallon got bitten by a radioactive god. As the last living mm. thing left before the universe's end, Gallon was visited by the sentience of okay. the multiverse, who merged with him as part of a cosmic cycle of death and rebirth. Mm. As the old multiverse died, a new one was born, and the scientist Gallon was no more. In his place was a being of untold power. Power, the Ravager of Galaxies, Galactus. Why wow, so dope? Galen. 29! Jesus! Beyond good and evil, heroes are victims of kind of books that are recons. Okay. Galactus is so unbelievably mind meltingly powerful that strong doesn't really begin to describe it. Here's the thing Just whenever Galactus him, comes to warp your perception of reality. To the MCU, like, how are they gonna beat him? That's what I want to know. Are they gonna need the Fantastic Four or Doom? Silver Surfer might come in. I want to play Silver Surfer. Ozor's living to say a lie. Has consumed planets, stars, energy, dark matter, cosmic god like strength, the blah blah. You know, so many manipulation, resurrection. The power cosmic allows one access to a near infinite pool of knowledge and the ability to sense danger ahead of time. I don't think there's a lot for him to be afraid of. He can manipulate matter, read and control the minds of gods, and make sense. Entire galaxies across the universe. The power cosmic allows him fundamental control over life itself. Yeah. Souls creating new life forms from nothing and even resurrecting the dead. And because his body is composed of energy, he can't really be hurt in the traditional physical sense. Yeah. This allows him to grow Makes sense. his body with seemingly no limit and mm. alter his appearance. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. He to look like that? His physical appearance matches the species observing him. So a human sees a human Galactus, a scroll, a scroll Galactus, and so on. Oh, so oh. just like how I see the world. That's interesting. What are you staring at? What matters most to me in the world? Awesome. No, not awesome. Very not awesome. At least as far as Galactus is concerned, since witnessing his approach is itself the mm. end of the world. That's kind of cool. Would only have Depending on who you are, you see God Galactus differently. Galactus That's kind of cool. Entire planet, absorbing its energy into himself. Then moving on to his next next meeting. target, Man, yeah. I guess his costume is appropriate because he sounds like a total dick. Like, oh I yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom three. Die. Now you're gonna go around the universe doing the same thing? It's not entirely his fault. Galactus's power is so immense that the only thing that can sustain him is the consumption of entire worlds. Mm, without this constant that's, that feeding, makes sense. he would perish. Just as humans would without consuming plants or other animals. Kind of like, uh, hey, I mean, I, I guess Galactus is kind of, of acting now, like the balance of life. The exact opposite, actually. 
a world has to come to an end eventually. A planet comes to an end eventually. He just. Death, he would. But just as the universe is bound by the laws of physics, Galactus yeah. is bound by his hunger. Mm. And that hunger has put him in conflict with some of Marvel's other heaviest hitters, like Odin and the Phoenix Force. Galactus' Ooh, fight with Odin? the other and the Scryer got so intense, they threatened the entire infinite multiverse just as a side effect of the battle. While Makes Galactus sense. himself can comfortably cross countless light years in seconds, some of these beings are more like abstract concepts than actual living That's how things. cool! Many the panel of kind of dope. Outside of linear time. Like this alien bug dude who tried to use Galactus's energy to destroy two whole universes even after how did galactus get captured in the first place that's what i want to know systems before getting a snack should he somehow be threatened by beings beyond even the scope of his power galactus crafted a device to solve all of his problems the ultimate nullifier in case that thing isn't obvious enough it's a teeny tiny weapon that destroys anyone you think of it doesn't just destroy them it destroys everything the entire multiverse is eradicated. Then How does something... The was Reed Richards the one that came up with it? Because it makes sense. But it works. That's exactly what happened when Galactus used it on the abstract god of destruction, Abraxas. He destroyed mm. the god of destroying things with a Happy Meal toy. That's it's crazy. Like great things come in small packages. And the Nola fire was key to Galactus's first great defeat upon his inevitable arrival on Earth. When that pesky Reed Richards managed yeah. to get his stretchy hands on the thing, Galactus finally backed down and spared the planet. Which makes no practical sense. The ultimate nullifier is a part of Galactus himself. It uses his own power. He can summon it at any time and even escape. It's okay, never mind. He's the one that made it. I'm dumb. It even had the safety on. Maybe he was just bored. After billions of years of cosmic genocide just to survive, I'm pretty sure Galen forgot what it meant to be mortal. Perhaps that was the true evil all along, the slow death of Galen's humanity. Because what could be more terrifying than a being that sees everything and everyone you know and love as food as nothing more than his next meal? All right, let's go to Unicron. Before heaven I'm guessing Unicron is another being of that eats everything. Unicron. Created by the formless primordial being known as the One to explore the fledgling multiverse, the Unicron One instead decided to consume everything. Dude, come on! Bad Unicron, bad God, bad. The One decided to split Unicron into two beings: one mm. of order and hope, known as Primus, and the other of chaos and evil, known Primus. as Unicron. Again, like all good sibling rivalries, they pushed each other Hi over Jesus of all existence. For that Tim Billion, Chaos Bringer, Planet Eater, ER, Brother of Primus, Optimus Prime, put him into the content of evil. Obviously, it's, it's, I know it's Primus, and I don't know if, if it's related to Prime or not. Possibly, I don't know, no say. Yeah, he turned his planet into a planet that eats other planets. That's crazy. That, it can change its form into a giant badass robot Satan. He's literally the first Transformer. And with this new body, mm. Unicron will travel the cosmos consuming planet after planet. So the the pl he is a planet. Universe. Cool. Not necessarily because of any hunger or need, but because Unicron is the physical embodiment of death and destruction. He is literally mm. programmed to destroy everything. God's gotta do what a God's gotta do. And good luck trying to fight back. Uni's robot body comes with a tractor beam, eye laser, spark, breath, the all spark, and an tight space manipulation. Ooh, has my breath, chest, the laser, electronic kinesis. Dark energy. God. I'm going moist energy. Empty body system. So even if his big robot body is damaged or destroyed, he can repair it like he split, or even mm. send his spark out to find a new host. Essentially, the Transformers version of a soul, Unicron Spark is a oh. and so the spark is a soul. Source, okay. Dark energon. Unicron is so evil that he can literally turn his bad dude energy into weapons of mass destruction. Uh, that was like kind of cool. Holy blade a blade? Busting lasers. This dark energon will corrupt any that consumes it, turning them into a puppet of Unicron himself. Mm. It's also obviously the opposite of regular energon, which is created by Primus and what fuels the Transformer race. So Unicron basically runs on the opposite of life. If he's death as a big robot, 
Can he even be killed? Not by any conventional means. Even oh. the destruction of his spark isn't guaranteed to end him. He will continue to exist as a necessary force that drives the cosmos. Anytime he's destroyed, he will appear again in a new universe. In mm. fact, almost every Unicron Multiverse. you've seen in movies, TV, and comics are the same Unicron. Unicron is a literal force of nature. <laughs> I like it. Like reason with it's all the same. That hates you. Oh, you no reason to create a new backstory every time. Way, but this hurricane is never gonna stop until you and everyone you know is D E D D. Oh no! His mere presence drove an entire planet insane. I was trying to be poetic before, but uh, this. This is what evil Ugh. is. Incomprehensible, undeniable, inescapable. You can't even wait him out. He is unbound by the concept of linear time. The Chaos Bringer is so powerful, his mere presence wrecks the space-time continuum and can erase galaxies space -time from rift. just by strolling by. To be clear, it isn't the force he's generating by moving that destroys things. It's his existence. How do you beat a his planet like... is so overwhelmingly evil that the fabric of space-time cannot fathom... Transformer. I was like, what's the name? <laughs> Dude, no wonder he was able to devour nearly a quarter of the entire multiverse, one universe at a time. Estimates for the size of the Transformers multiverse vary from over 15 quadrillion universes to an infinite number of universes, branching timelines, and planes mm. of existence. And who better to Turtles! be a being who brings death to the universe than the man who gave birth to modern cinema? A final role fitting for an artist so much larger than life. Or deeply ironic that it's a feature-length toy commercial. Yeah, Transformers movie has That's funny. been celebrated for his excellence. I say. Mm. Despite that unbelievable power, the Chaos Bringer's almighty rampage through reality has been halted a number of times, usually due to the matrix of leadership. The Honestly, of that kind of looks cool. And the embodiment of all hope and light in the universe. Are you telling me that Robo Satan was defeated by the power of friendship? Forget fear. I'm going to need some Makes of that sense. shit going straight into the vein. As the abstract idea of evil actualized, any notion of goodness is directly antithetical to his being. Makes and sense. I, I, I could kind of see why. Tank the Big Bang the destroyed like less Optimus than a quarter Prime, of the multiverse. Unicron okay. I mean, that's still a lot. Not going to lie. But like, absorbed supermassive black holes, shook the universe with his love, uh, alliance of Autobots and something, something. Of Autobots, Decepticons, and an entire people created from his cells, the Minicons, tried mm. to destroy him once and for all. An alliance they of Autobots, Decepticons, and Minicons. Okay. Until Galvatron Three races. Brought Unicron back to life. Because challenging Unicron means challenging evil itself. Destroying destruction itself. An mm. impossible paradox. You can't kill Unicron because killing is literally what Unicron <laughs> is. So what does that mean for us? Every petty act of violence, every war, every cruelty, every death battle. Gives Was that Unicron caused by him? Oh, okay. Now. He'll use to kill us all. We are culpable in our own annihilation. Mm, we feed not him. Just some comic book villain. He's all there is and all there will be. He That's gonna be a cool concept. Not gonna lie. He'll be there at the end. He's a law of physics. He's as inevitable as your dying breath. Jesus, now you got me scared. All right, let's go. All right, the Who am I going? I don't know. I'm kind of biased. It's to Galactus. So I'm gonna go with ever. Galactus. As all things must, your world is uh, to an end. Oh, so both of them are gonna eat the planet together? No! I live there! Okay, that's a lie. No, I'm there! So saith Galactus, destroyer of worlds. Be gone. Thus decrees you. That's such a that's such a menacing title. I am destroyer of worlds. Oh Henshin Megazord Unicron Oh no! Ah oh, no, we just dead! Damn! Handle your headpiece knee to the face. The trigger. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. 
Whoa. The, the animation is kind of... Oh, he made himself big backhand, the sun. There's another sun. Oh, there's a black hole now. Negate. Right, left, punch. Beam clash. Let's get it. Ooh. Follow through, left punch. Oh, the holy blade. Ooh, cut in half. I but he, so yep, makes sense. He's gonna eat that. Oh, his spark. I kind of like that. Transforming. Beg not for mercy, behold blackening sky. Against mine chaos, even gods will Ooh. die. Bing. That super quantum giga punch, whatever. Galactus, nah. Your I like it that they talk in the third person. That's kind of like super evil confidence right there. Mm, that combo though. Backhand. Ooh, forward. Forward air. I like the. I like the. I like that Unicron just grabs galaxies and whatever planets and he just tosses them at Galactus. The nullifier. The spark. Oh, is he, is he gonna inherit? Gonna go inside it? Okay, never mind. Mm. No. Oh, split it apart! Chaos, yet by my vigor thou hast much need. Witness the last fate that awaits you thus. For almighty Galactus must now feed. KO! Let's go! Uh, new streak alive! Do basically anything. <laughs> Older than the universe, unbound by time, they had each other matched in a lot of ways. So it ultimately came down to which of them was more powerful. Both True. would threaten an entire infinite multiverse, but mm -hmm. Unicron could only do so over time, devouring them one by one. While Galactus's battle with the Scryer and the other threatened to destroy the entire Marvel multiverse as just a side effect. Not to mention, Galactus tussles with cosmic beings like himself all the time. While Unicron is usually the top dog in Transformers, he's a mm. big fish in a relatively small pond. Relative to Marvel, at least. That might sound better for Unicron at first, but it means he has way less experience than Galactus in yeah. full fights against dudes his size. Makes and sense. While Unicron has used Dark Energon to infect and corrupt other beings in the past, Galactus technically doesn't have a soul thanks to his cosmic rebirth from Galen. And he's fended off mental attacks before, so there's no real reason to think that would work here. And as lame as it is, the ultimate nullifier is just really, really overpowered. OP. Despite Unicron being able to survive the destruction of his spark, the ultimate nullifier is significantly more thorough. Consider the time it was used against Abraxas, a being that embodied the abstract concept of the multiverse's destruction. Hmm. Sounds like somebody you know? Even against someone like that, the good old Oli Nulli had no problem erasing him from reality. And the same would happen to Unicron. While Galactus could always hide in that pocket dimension, just as he escaped the nullifier before. Unicron was an insanely terrifying threat. But Galactus mm -hmm. had the power, experience, and arsenal to ultimately True. annihilate him. If you thought Galactus was going down in this fight, you were Unicron. The winner. I get it. Galactus. Let's go. Right again. Season 10 is done, but season 11 is on the way. Thanks so much for watching. And oh, so this is the season 10 finale? Champions this year. It kind of makes sense why they went ham with the animation. 24. Oh. 
Oh, cards? Tert? The Fool? Persona 4? Okay, it's not. And the one you voted for. Wow, E. Coyote! Coyote. First this Tomcat. <gasps> oh, snap. You already know who I'm going to go for. I'm going for my boy, Thomas. Thomas! Tom! The GOAT! I'm going for Tom. <laughs> wow, E. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. Let's go. Got it right. I'm always right. Except except that one time. You don't count that one time. But, <laughs> okay. Uh, the link to the visual video down in the description below. Go watch yourself. Go like yourself. Support Death Battle so we can get season 11. They've been doing this for 11 years, which is crazy. And uh, support me by liking and subscribing to me. See you on the next reaction. Bye-bye.